These movies cost a fortune to make, but they exploded at the box office. Here are 10 Hollywood flops with sky-high budgets. Number 10. Allied. 2016. Allied, a 2016 World War II spy thriller, was a box office flop despite its sky-high budget of $85 million. It only grossed $122.2 million worldwide, resulting in a loss of $12.8 million. The film was criticized for its slow pace, lack of suspense, and predictable plot. One of the main reasons for Allied's failure was its lack of originality. The film's plot is heavily inspired by classic spy thrillers like Casablanca and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. However, Allied fails to live up to these films, offering nothing new or exciting. Another reason for Allied's failure is its slow pace and lack of suspense. The film takes a long time to get going, and even when it does, it's never truly thrilling. The stakes never feel high enough, and the suspense is never truly palpable. Finally, Allied's plot is predictable. Audiences can see most of the twists and turns coming from a mile away. This makes the film feel even more boring and uninspired. Number 9. Tomorrowland, 2015. Hollywood has seen many flops over the years, but some of the biggest have been films with sky-high budgets. One example of this is Tomorrowland, a 2015 Disney sci-fi adventure film that cost $190 million to make. The film grossed $209.2 million at the box office, but this was not enough to cover its production costs, and it ended up losing $10.8 million. There are a number of reasons why Tomorrowland flopped. One reason is that it had a muddled plot. The film was originally intended to be a launch pad for a new franchise, and it was packed with ideas and concepts. However, this made the plot difficult to follow, and many viewers were confused by what was happening. Another reason for the film's failure is that it lacked excitement. Despite its high budget, Tomorrowland was a surprisingly tame film. There were few action sequences, and the overall tone was one of wonder and amazement. However, this tone did not resonate with audiences who were looking for a more thrilling experience. Number 8. Pan. 2015. Pan was a critical and commercial failure, grossing $124.1 million worldwide against a budget of $150 million, losing $25.9 million. The Warner Brothers prequel to Peter Pan was criticized for its dark tone, uninspired story, and lack of magic. One of the main reasons for Pan's failure was its tone. The film was much darker and more serious than previous adaptations of Peter Pan, and it alienated many viewers who were expecting a light-hearted and whimsical adventure. The story was also criticized for being uninspired and predictable, and for failing to add anything new or interesting to the Peter Pan mythos. Another factor in Pan's failure was its lack of magic. The film featured very few magical elements, and the ones that were included were often poorly executed. This was a major disappointment to many viewers who were expecting a film about Peter Pan to be full of wonder and enchantment. Pan's failure was a major setback for Warner Brothers, and it showed the dangers of spending too much money on a film that is not well conceived or executed. The film is a reminder that even the biggest budgets cannot guarantee success, and that good storytelling is always more important than big special effects. Number 7. The Irishman 2019. Martin Scorsese's 2019 epic crime thriller film The Irishman was a critical and commercial disappointment. With a budget of $159 to $200 million, it grossed only $128.5 million at the box office, resulting in a loss of $30.5 million. The film was praised for its performances, particularly those of Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci, as well as its directing, cinematography, and production design. However, it was also criticized for its excessive length, over 3.5 hours, slow pace, and lack of energy. Some critics argued that the film was simply too long and that its slow pace made it difficult to engage with. Others felt that the film was too similar to Scorsese's previous work, such as Goodfellas and Casino. Still others argued that the film was simply not very good, with a weak script and underdeveloped characters. Despite its critical and commercial failure, The Irishman remains an interesting and ambitious film. It is a sprawling epic that attempts to tell the story of organized crime in America over the course of several decades. It is also a meditation on aging, regret, and the nature of loyalty. 
While the film is not without its flaws, it is still worth watching for its performances, its directing, and its historical significance. It is a film that will likely be debated and discussed for years to come. Number 6. Jupiter Ascending 2014 Hollywood has a long history of producing big-budget films that flop at the box office. One example is Jupiter Ascending, a 2014 sci-fi space opera from the Wachowskis. The film had a massive budget of $176 million, but it only grossed $183.9 million worldwide, resulting in a loss of $42.1 million. Jupiter Ascending was a critical and commercial bomb. Critics panned the film for its confusing plot, unlikable characters, and over-reliance on CGI. Audiences also seemed to be turned off by the film, as it only had a 27% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. So, what went wrong with Jupiter Ascending? There are a few possible explanations. First, the film's plot was notoriously confusing. It was difficult to follow and often felt like it was making things up as it went along. Second, the characters were unlikable and underdeveloped. The audience didn't care about the characters, so it was hard to get invested in the story. Finally, the film relied too heavily on CGI. The special effects were often over the top and distracting. Number 5. The Lone Ranger 2013 the Lone Ranger is a classic Hollywood flop with a sky-high budget. It was made for $215 million, but only grossed $260.5 million at the box office, resulting in a loss of $45.5 million. This was a huge disappointment for Disney, which had high hopes for the film. There are a number of reasons why The Lone Ranger flopped. First, it was simply too long. The film ran for 2 hours and 49 minutes, which is far too long for a western. Second, the budget was bloated. Disney spent far too much money on the film, especially considering that it was a remake of a relatively obscure TV show. Third, the film lacked humor. Westerns are traditionally lighthearted and fun, but The Lone Ranger was a dark and serious film. This turned off many audiences. The Lone Ranger was also criticized for its casting. Johnny Depp was a controversial choice for the role of Tonto, the Lone Ranger's sidekick. Depp's performance was over the top and cartoonish, and many audiences found it off-putting. Army Hammer was also a disappointment in the lead role. He was simply too wooden and bland to be believable as the Lone Ranger. In the end, the Lone Ranger was a victim of its own ambition. Disney tried to make a big-budget blockbuster, but they ended up making a long, boring, and unfunny film. Number 4. Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets 2017 In 2017, one of the most highly anticipated films of the year was released, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. This Luke Besson sci-fi epic was a massive undertaking, with a budget of $177.2 million. However, the film was a critical and commercial failure, grossing only $225.2 million at the box office, resulting in a loss of $52 million. There are a number of factors that contributed to the film's failure. One was its confusing plot. The film was based on a French comic book series that is known for its complex and convoluted storylines. However, Besson's film adaptation was unable to effectively communicate the story to audiences. The film was also criticized for its unlikable characters and over-reliance on CGI. In addition to the factors mentioned above, there are a number of other reasons why Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets may have failed. One possibility is that the film was simply released at the wrong time. The summer of 2017 was a very crowded time for blockbusters, and Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets may have gotten lost in the shuffle. Another possibility is that the film's marketing campaign was not effective in generating excitement among audiences. Number 3. John Carter 2012 John Carter 2012 is a classic example of a Hollywood flop with a sky-high budget. Disney spent a whopping $250 million on this ambitious sci-fi epic, but it only made $284.1 million at the box office, resulting in a loss of $69.9 million. The film was supposed to be a new franchise starter for Disney, but it failed to live up to expectations. Critics panned the film for its bland protagonist, confusing plot, and unconvincing special effects. One of the biggest problems with the film was its protagonist, John Carter, Taylor Kitsch. Carter is supposed to be a dashing and charismatic hero, but he comes across as bland and uninteresting. 
The film also has a very confusing plot that is difficult to follow. Finally, the special effects in the film are not very impressive, especially considering the film's massive budget. Overall, John Carter is a disappointing film that is not worth watching. Number 2. 47 Ronin 2013 47 Ronin is a 2013 American action fantasy film based on the true story of the 47 Ronin, a group of samurai who avenged the death of their master. The film was directed by Carl Wrench and starred Keanu Reeves, Hiroyuki Sanada, and Tadanobu Asano. 47 Ronin was a costly failure, grossing only $151.7 million against a budget of $225 million. It was criticized for its over-the-top visuals, nonsensical plot, and lack of character development. One of the main problems with 47 Ronin is that it tries to cram too much into one film. The film is full of action sequences, but these sequences are often poorly choreographed and edited. The plot is also convoluted and difficult to follow. Another problem with 47 Ronin is that it fails to develop its characters. The audience never really gets to know the Ronin or their motivations. This makes it difficult to care about what happens to them. Overall, 47 Ronin is a disappointing film that fails to live up to its potential. It is a visually stunning film, but the style outweighs the substance. If you are looking for an action fantasy film, there are much better options available. Number 1. Mars Needs Moms 2011 Mars Needs Moms, released in 2011, is one of the most expensive animated films ever made, with a budget of $150 million. It was also one of the biggest flops of all time, grossing only $39.1 million at the box office, resulting in a loss of $110.9 million. The film was panned by critics and audiences alike, with many criticizing its poor animation, uninspired story, and annoying characters. Some critics even called it one of the worst animated films ever made. One of the main reasons for the film's failure was its troubled production. The film was originally scheduled to be released in 2009, but it was delayed several times due to creative differences between the director and Disney. This led to a ballooning budget and a rushed production, which ultimately resulted in a subpar product. Another reason for the film's failure was its marketing campaign. The trailers for the film made it look like a fun and exciting family-friendly adventure, but the actual film was much darker and more serious. This led to many disappointed audiences who felt that the film was not what they were expecting. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos.